I don't want. So yeah, over the past week or so, this bullshit happened. This stupid so, shit here. for the yeah. first time ever, a robot rapper has recorded a deal. Correction, you mean Talk he got a record deal. deal. FN Mecca just signed with Capitol Records. To tone down His debut that single, Florida Water, yeah, was released last week. Happy about the this. robot rapper has over 10 million followers on TikTok. I don't believe that shit. And it's That's a all computer generated. top virtual being. I call BS. FN Mecca, voiced by a human, but everything else about his music is based in... Fuck it. AI. No, that's fuck. Huh. There's no life? intelligence in that. that. Artificial or organic. Did we didn't know it was a thing either, white lady. But here we are. The thing has a drop from Don Cannon and already has a feature from Gunner. What, what, what is, is this? this? When I was searching through the internet, this is what I find. They put a Bugatti on front of a plane and then this creature comes out. Looking like he found the only urban outfitters in Cyberpunk 2077. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm this Brooklyn. motherfucker hey, has you? way too much enthusiasm for this oh, Sambotron 9000 commercial. They made a cultural no appropriation NFT and gave it a record deal. It uh, upgraded the Takashi 6.9 to 7.0. Emphasis on the zero. Watch when this motherfucker start talking. Listen to how this is. This is why I bring all my hoes. I call it whole body. Fuck it. This is not the fucking vibe, fucking. my boy. Oh, man. All right, so the debut single is called Florida Water. It features Gunna and a Fortnite streamer named Clicks, making him, making him some reportedly bullshit. the world's first AI rapper to sign to a major label. Bullshit. Um, so the people that's behind it is this... Well, the front man is Anthony Martini. Uh, he used to be part of a like this punk rock group that sometimes rap called E Town Concrete. Oh, hold up! Wait a minute. Did he just say what I think he said? Yes, my fucker, GD. Yes, these non-blacks did that shit. Yep. Man, let me just get through this video. So, yeah, Anthony Martini got 15 years of experience in the music industry, has worked across multiple genres and sectors yada, of the music, yada, yada, music industry stuff. with metal yada, acts yada, like yada, Lamb of God, yada. Behemoth, and Terror. Then he th joined uh, Crush Management with Sia, Fall Out Boy, Train, etc. Um, before launching his own management company, the CMSN, I believe that's the commission, where he discovered and developed Tiger, and he founded a record label commission where he signed artists including Lil Dicky, Made in Tokyo, and IDK. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I just stuff. give you yada, that yada, to yada, give you yada. some background behind Anthony Martini. Um, he said in an interview with Music Business Worldwide one time that the traditional a &R is That's inefficient and unreliable. Ours, and when it comes to developing Instagram. talent, saying now we can literally custom create artists using elements proven to work, greatly increasing the odds of success. All right, so explaining the AI that powers FM Mecca, Martini says, we develop a proprietary AI technology that analyzes Jackie certain Styles. popular songs of a specified genre and, and generate recommendations for the various elements of song construction, lyrical content, chords, melody, tempo, sounds, etc. We then and combine we these elements to create the song. As of now, a human voice performs the vocals, but we are working towards the ability to have a computer come up with and perform and its own words and even collaborate with other computers as no, we don't have to pay artists shit. And speaking with the daily beast martini compared fm mecca to artists like marshmallow and gorillas saying you look at any great human artist the more fantastic you are the more of a character that you are any great artist you're buying into some sort of story this is just the next level of actually doing that there's been some precedents in the past for even for pseudo virtual characters. You could look at gorillas. You could look at a guy like Marshmallow. 
He's not real for all intents and purposes either. He could be a digital being too, and it would make a difference to the fans of the music. We're trying to blur those lines and even more and trying to bring We're everyone trying to make to money the without black people That's and what keep he the money in our pockets. Next point I'm bringing up is one I found when I was going down the YouTube rabbit hole looking up this blackface NFT ambiguous race Sambotron thing. Fortnite here. Mecca. I found this on uh, this channel called Trend Culture, and I just want to bring up this point from this random uh, record exec about basically how he feels about this virtual artists movement there Lori Lamana a CEO who has worked with Kanye Post Malone Akon and now Factory New in an interview with Music Business World last summer stated think about it the virtual likeness of an artist it doesn't get old it doesn't get angry it doesn't argue with you the translation that means we can make this thing do whatever offensive coon shit we deem is cool and marketable Whatever these white execs want this thing to do, it's going to do it and it's not going to disagree or fuss them out. It's not even going to ask for publishing. And that's because they got complete control, just playing God, creating this fuckery straight from scratch. Pure, unadulterated. Fuckery. And out of all the bad news, they're going to clone. They're going to clone. Copy. Wait a minute. Did he just say what I think he said? Yes, my fucker, you did. Imagine if you could see me right now. Yes, I'm shaking my head. Yes, I look annoyed. I need white execs to be like these white people. Oh, we're going to get Dr. Uma on. You kids don't get him first. Oh, my God. Yes, respond like her. Like this. Ginger? With concern. Oh. Hey. Yep, we're gonna stick this nigga on you, I swear to God. And y'all, y'all can't say nigga, all right? Don't be like these two, okay? And then create a whole new blackface uh, puppet so they can say yes, nigga as many times they want. And just like that, ain't take but a week. And then Capitol Records dropped them that does we, us black folks said, fuck that shit, we don't like that shit. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna let uh, this YouTuber Charles Brown explained it because he explained it real or, eloquently. It's not illegal to create an AI robot, but what is illegal to me, if you're going to construct something from scratch and you put the flaws in it that are actually not, con it's not constructive to have rappers saying the N-word in any uh, in any event. But if you're going to construct a, a, a being, a perfect being from scratch and you insert those negative connotations into it, and your end game is to make money that i believe is wrong that you part the baby that part right said. there because i guarantee you if that robot drops an f-bomb if that robot says a gay slur i promise you that thing will get deleted i bet you that kid in that studio saying them words for that robot will never say anything against uh, a, a, a lgbtq person it's just like dave Chappelle said when he was talking about um that that one meeting he had for the Chappelle show or whatever. They can't say the F word, but they can dang sure say the N word all they want here. And don't think because Capitol Records dropped this this one AI rapper that they don't have more in the tuck because they got more in the tuck. No, they had a full grown plan for all of these. Like they're selling these these uh, avatar rappers like their action figures after a saturday morning cartoon uh battery you see all the separate. like agendas that they have they, they're going worldwide with this. one avatar named knox frost is a world health organization representative so you know they were trying to get some some big corporate bucks off of these using these as like corporate mascots for the future and and getting paid off of it with royalties or whatever and they don't have to pay no other artists but the programmers involved or whatever that's just cutting costs right then and there that's that's the equivalent of truck drivers being replaced by these um computer driven trucks these automatic autopilot trucks out here that's what i'm talking about fm mecca and avatars like him is like the self checkout line at walmart for like, like these execs here
This is not the beginning. They've been doing bullshit like this. Remember when Fortnite was jacking all those dance moves from um, black creators and off uh, TikTok and everything and they didn't pay them? Look what they did to my boy Vegeta. Like, uh, look how they disrespected Vegeta like this, man. Right foot creep. This is Vegeta. Look. Come on, man. Vegeta shit can't be moving like this, bro. Not like this. I know he was dancing in that one uh, in Resurrection of uh, Hell and everything, but nah, he can't be doing this shit, dog. Not like this. Nah. I ain't gonna lie. Some of these little weeds, like, he kind of getting it right here. Man. But, nah, man. Nah, not Put these dance moves on the avatar and create. One last thing I wanted to point out. Don't they look like they designed this dude off of this guy? Remember this guy? Y'all remember this like guy. Y'all know who this is, man. Let's look at the dog. Y'all already know. I swear they tried to get the guy that tried to attack Dave Chappelle and got Molly Wop and then created FM Mecca. Look, they even got the same moves. Like... So basically, they Fortnite copied the image of, of black rappers, put them all in a box, find the worst things about them, and made this Mickey Mouse blackface NFT uh, to make money off of it. Ridiculous. Look, this shit is exhausting. I, I'm pretty much done with Fortnite Mecca, with, with Fuck Nigga Mecca, with Factory New Mecca, whatever the fuck they want to call it. I, it this shit is stupid. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call it quits. This has been good in fuckery news. I have been the reporter, the Padawan here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to smoke a blunt after this. Cause this is some bullshit. Peace. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Did he just say what I think he said? Yes, my fucker. You did. It's the good. And. Yeah, yeah, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have